Welcome back. Now we are going to look at Laravel directory and file structure. And this is just a brief introduction to get to understand the directories and files that make up the Laravel framework. So we're going to focus on the main directories and files. And the first on the line will be the app directory. The app directory is the directory which holds your base code for your Laravel application. It has subdirectories sub like the console, exceptions, HTTP, which contains the controllers and the middleware, and also the providers. Then we have the bootstrap. The bootstrap directory contains or holds all your bootstrapping scripts used by the application. We have the config directory, which contains all your configuration files. For example, you might want to change the default DB connection from MySQL to another database. So this is the file to do all those configuration. We also have a configuration file for the mail, the app, the file system, the services, the session, and view. We have another directory called database directory. So this directory holds your database files as well as several parameters for database functionalities. We have the factories, migrations, and seeds. The next is the public directory. So this is the directory that helps in starting your Laravel application. And it holds all the CSS, JavaScript, and images that your application will depend on. It also has this HT access file, which is responsible for server configuration. Next is the resources directory. The resources directory holds all the SAS files, the language localization files, as well as the templates. These are HTML files which communicate with the end users and play a fundamental function in MVC architecture. That's why the V in MVC stands for the views. Next is the routes directory, which holds all your definition files for routing, such as the console.php, api.php, channels.php, and web.php. Next is the storage directory which holds your session files, cache, compile templates, as well as miscellaneous files generated by the framework. Then we have the test directory, which holds your test cases. Then we have the vendor directory, which holds all composer dependency files. So the reason we have this vendor directory with so many subdirectories is because Laravel is entirely based on composer dependencies. For instance, we have a third party package which generates dummy data for testing. It's called Faker, and you can see it here. Now let's look at the files. And the first file to look at is the editor config. So basically, this files or this file helps in defining and maintaining consistent coding styles between different editors and IDEs. The next one is the environmental variable file or the or the .env. So this is the file where you do some of the details for the database. For example, database details like database name, username, and password. So this is the file to do all that. So you store them on this file. Also, you can store the details for the mail. And then we have another file called git attributes so this file is incorporated as a git configuration file remember you have this also called env dot env dot example and dot env so the dot env dot example contains only the essential configurations then we have the git ignore the git ignore is also a git configuration file where it keeps a list of files and folders which will not be committed to the git repository. For example, the .env file is not committed to the git repository. But the .env.example is committed to the git repository. The vendor is not committed to the git repository. The node modules. So all these files on this list will not be committed to the git repository. So it's a git ignore file that stores all those files and folders. Then we have the artisan. The artisan 
provides you a working environment that empowers you to run the artisan commands. So every time you're running the PHP artisan, then this is the file that is always responsible for that. Next is the composer.json file. So this is the configuration file for the composer and it specifies all your dependencies for development purposes. Then we have the composer.lock. It's also a configuration file for composer and it takes all dependencies you pulled in and locks those dependencies for specific versions. Then we have the package.json. This is the front end. It is for the front end, but mostly is like a composer.json file. Then we have the readme.md. So this one is a file which includes information about the framework or any other details containing this application. Then we have the server.php. So this is an internal web server and has a primary role in framework working environment. So every time your Laravel development server is working, so this is the file that is responsible for all that operation. Then we have the web pack.mix. So this is basically a file for what we call Laravel, Laravel mix. And then we have the yarn.log. So this is the same as a file called composer.log. So those are the files and the directories that make up the Laravel. And I'll see you in the next lecture.